So check this out right here. I add a little razzle dazzle while you are charging your phone. I now have a charging animation lock screen or rather wallpaper that's depicting the current percentage of my battery and its charging status. What is going on y'all? My name is Tech Me Out and in this video we are going to be doing iPhone tips, iPhone 14 tips and tricks, and we're gonna be talking about the dynamic island that is now found on the new iPhone 14 Pros. So we got a lot to discuss, but um, yeah, if you're new here, go ahead and get settled because we're gonna be working our way through these. Now, the one that I showed you at the beginning with the little charging animation, that was a little bit more complex. So we're actually gonna do that a little bit later in the video, but if you wanna jump to it, I'm gonna timestamp it right here, as well as have it linked down below in the description box. You can just click on it and go. So with the iPhone 14, there's certain things that aren't automatically enabled that you can now do. Like one of those things being having the 48 megapixel camera, you wanna make sure that that option is turned on and the way that you get to it is to hop into your settings. We're gonna to navigate to camera and then once you're there, we're gonna to go to formats and you're gonna make sure that you turn on Apple Pro Raw and that 48 megapixels for that is selected. That way you get the maximum resolution when taking your photos. This is something that I want to say is not on by default. Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you know how to use is action mode, which is gonna give you a more stabilized clip when you're recording video. But the way that you would enable this is actually over here on the left-hand side. So you would tap that icon and now it tells you that action mode is on. And as you can see, it does want optimal lighting for action mode to actually work. So just keep that in mind. Now, while we're in the camera, something else that we want to note is in cinematic mode here. Cause with the iPhone 14s, you now have a few more options and that being the choice between different frame rates. All right, so if we go over here to the left-hand side and I change this to 4K, we now can have the option to change it from 30 frames to 24 frames per second. So we have a little bit more control, you know, a little something. In addition to that, you can also adjust the zoom levels. So instead of it being one times, you can make it a three time, you know, crop or zoom. So keep in mind, you can toggle that option. When you're in portrait mode, you can also come over here and change it from one times to two or three times. So that's another thing to make sure that you're taking advantage of when you're using these modes. Now, another thing that's specific only to the iPhone 14 Pros, it's not offered on the 14s or anything else, is Dynamic Island. So in short, what Dynamic Island is, is like an adaptive area at the top of your screen and it's interactive and changes when you're utilizing apps that run something known as the Call Kit API, the Now Playing API, or the Live Activities API. I know a lot of technical terms. So what does this mean for you when you're using applications? That basically means in essence, when you're doing things like listening to music, hit play there. We'll see now that I can see the waveform for my audio up at the top and the album art for the song. And if I long press on it, it gives me a little widget so that I can quickly change the track here. And I can see the waveform here of, you know, the volume and everything like that. So it's just a nice shortcut when you're in another application and you don't want to like navigate away from that app. I can always just pull it right here and not have to exit out. And it'll run more than one application that does those things. So if I hit start right here and I minimize this, I now have two up here. And if you say, hey, what happens if you use a third app that can run in the background up there? Then you can always tap to toggle between the apps that are currently running there in that area. A few apps that use things like the Now Playing API would be something like the Apple Music app here. Or if I were to run the Spotify one right here. I could even use an application like Audible and have quick access to controls up here as well. So instead of advancing to the next track, I now can just skim it as I would with my Audible options within the application. So I can just skip ahead 30 seconds, I'll go back 30 seconds. On top of that, the Dynamic Island also gets utilized for phone calls. So I'm gonna call Cam real quick. Hey Shug, I wanted to test something to show people how this works on camera. So if you look at the top here, you can see my audio waveform. And Shug, can you say some words so that they can see the audio waveform for you? Testing, hi. <laughs> 
So the cool thing here is it'll show it for my audio as well as his, and if I long press on it, I can quickly end the call or mute myself or rather change the audio all from within here. And if you notice there, it had the little notification LED to let us know that um, either the mic or the video camera were being utilized. So now those types of alerts that you would normally see in the corner are seen in that peel area as well. Now other things that you'll see the dynamic island change for would be when your AirPods connect, the use of Face ID, Apple Pay, AirDrop, when your battery's charging, when you put it in silent mode or take it out of silent mode, when you change your focus modes, or if you do something like run a Siri shortcut. When you put your phone in airplane mode, when you use watch unlock, SIM card alerts, when you connect an accessory, when Find My is activated, car key or NFC interactions. You also notice it takes place for things like timers. So if I set one right now, I'll see it now appear up at the dynamic island. Map directions also appear up there. Or even if you were to do something like screen record, that then populates up there in the dynamic island. So then I could force press on that, get my options for screen recording. Hit stop. And now it's saved into my photos and I can tap on it and instantly go to it. And if I were to use something like voice memos, we'll see it happen up here in the dynamic island as well as on the lock screen with always on display. So that's pretty neat. So, you know, even though my phone is now locked, I still have the voice memo recording app going here and I can see it and I can pause it or resume it all when my phone is locked. So that's pretty nice. And speaking of always on display, if it is not your thing and you'd rather have it off entirely, then you can hop into your settings, go down to display and brightness, and then turn off this option here that says always on. That way when you lock your phone, it just goes to a blank screen. But if you ever want it back on, you can just head back into your settings, of course, and reverse that action. And now when you lock your phone, you'll have the always on display. Now this next cool feature we are witnessing right now as I'm speaking, and that is voice dictation, being able to know when to put certain, you know, periods and parentheses and things like that. But the other cool aspect is while it is dictating my voice, I can still, you know, tap in here and basically move where the words go or change a word <laughs> while it's basically still dictating, but you just wanna make sure you pause because where it last was is where it will then go. So yeah, but that's cool. Now feature that I love that came with iOS 16 is the option to send an email later. And that's something that I feel like sometimes, at least I know in my case, I've downloaded another app so that I could do that. So to now have it in the native mail app, it's nice, but the way that you would go about activating that is to just simply long press on the send button and then you can choose when you want to send it. So you can send it now at a specific time or send it later and further customize the date and the time in which you want it to send. And how could I forget this one? If you haven't noticed in the top right corner of my screen, I have my battery percentage. If you also want that, then all you have to do is head into your settings and type in battery or look for battery. And once you're in there at the very top, we have the option to turn on battery percentage. So once you turn that on, instead of it being the symbol, it now shows you the actual, you know, percentage value in which your battery's at. If you want this right here, this is how you get it. All right, so the first thing I did was download a live wallpaper. And in this particular case, I got mine from this application called Live Pick. It's actually one of those apps that charges like $5 a week, so you definitely, might want to explore other options, but if you want the exact wallpaper I had, this is where I got it from. Now, once you've found a charge and animation wallpaper that you like, you're going to hit the down arrow to set it so that it chooses this one for your wallpaper. And then the next thing you're going to do is head into your shortcuts app. Once you're here, we're going to hit automation. And then we're going to hit the plus symbol, create personal automation. And we're going to go down to the option charger right here. 
and we're gonna make sure that is connected is selected and then select next. Now, once we're here, we're gonna select add action and then we're gonna tap on this um, side here that says apps and we're gonna search for live pick. Then we're gonna tap on that and select charging animation. And then we're gonna select next. So now anytime my phone is connected to power, I'm going to get this charging animation. But we also want to make sure that we turn off ask before running because we want it to happen without prompting us. And then we're going to select done. And that's it. All right, but that's going to do it for this one, y'all. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to stay updated with when I'm dropping some more content or what's going on with me, you can feel free to check me out on Instagram at Tech Me Out. That's T E C H M E zero U T. And if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can continue to get more content from me. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. I just realized I was in the wrong spot for the mic.